Welcome back everyone to some more City Skylines and welcome back to the F1 Paddock Metropolis. The city is bustling, a lot of activity, a lot of economic and residential activity going on. We filled out in the previous episode Paul Ricard Circuit which is nicely in here. It's a nice little suburban area today. With the announcement from FIA and Formula One um, and the new circuit around the Las Vegas Strip, I have decided to bring in that Las Vegas street circuit to my F1 paddock metropolis, to our F1 paddock metropolis. And I think we're going to build it out here and build our airport in this nice little area here. Maybe this peninsula looking place could be useful. want to build out an airport here so that we can improve one, our tourism as well as to our cargo shipping capabilities. So what we're going to try to do is build a direct line out of this highway system to the airport system so that we can improve everything that I just mentioned. So like this video if you guys are enjoying the series, subscribe using the red button down below and let's try to hit that 1000 subscriber mark soon. We're very close indeed so do help me out there. I love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for your support and let's get on with today's episode. So Las Vegas Strip. So that's where the Bellagio is, the MGM Grand, all the the Bellagio Fountains, isn't that like part of it? I think so. So we might build a nice little park area in there as well. Make it a nice little touristy area. I don't think it's going to be a big circuit, you know? It doesn't look too big because Las Vegas itself isn't too big, isn't it? There was a Caesars Palace Grand Prix in the past, wasn't there? But I think they re-drew uh, out the circuit. So this was good. Uh, I remember the Caesar Palace Grand Prix being an absolute disaster because it was held in that parking lot, wasn't it? Like the Caesar Palace parking lot. It was a bit of an odd choice, but um, the heat was not good either. So it's a night race, of course, because of that. Uh, they don't want drivers to pass out in the driver's seat. Anyway, Las Vegas. It's a pretty straightforward circuit. I think I want the flat bit of the circuit to be out here so that we can connect it to the airport, which is going to fill in this area. I don't have the airport expansion pack yet, so ugh, it's a bit of a bummer. So the first bit of remodeling that we did was to bring in this cloverleaf interchange right here because we need a nice little exit here into the uh, Las Vegas Grand Prix circuit or the F1 street circuit. Um, so yeah, this is nicely fit in here. So traffic is unbothered or not disrupted too much i mean we've got floating cars because i just deleted those roads but it is perfect uh to build out the street circuit here so this is the entryway of course we'll put toll roads on this side and this side so that we can have a nice little exchange going on so we've built in the turn one two three four so f from turn four all the way to turn six or turn five rather so this is turn four exit and this is turn five and then it's a nice little arc going around boom so we got the semicircle in here and then it's gonna go down got a nice little turn seven thing going on here leading into turn eight and then it's a straight line from here i mean that kind of looks like it i'd say got a nice road going in up rotate around go down something like that and then there's an interesting little chicane here. I didn't notice this on the diagram because it was hidden by a bunch of buildings. But good eye from some of the people on Twitter. Uh, people have been mentioning this small little chicane here. Not quite sure how that's going to look because it, from Google Maps, it just looks like it's a huge intersection. So there's like traffic lights here and it's just road. So they're going to put down like curbs and stuff on top of that road, I'm assuming. And then it's like a hairpin turn going down and then it's a slight straight with a curve and then hook around and bang on what are we saying that looks like the las vegas f1 street circuit it's a very simple circuit of course because the united states is built on grids so i'm not expecting too much of a like curvy tipsy turvy kind of grand prix circuit but yeah this does look like it let's follow the the track here a little because this is how this thing is supposed to go apparently so this is going to be turn one so i'm assuming the start finish straight will be this small segment here so uh i think the start fin so the finish line will be right here we'll go straight into turn 
turn one here and then we have a slight kink to turn two the bend to turn three and four um, it kind of doesn't show here but yeah sure three and four going straight on this straight might be a drs straight i'm not quite sure turn five and then it's turn six a huge bend uh left hand to bend and then going straight down to turn seven and turn eight with a nice right hand to turn nine and a long straight that feels kind of like the azerbaijan straight i believe to turn 10 and we go straight this might be another drs straight according to my predictions here i'm going to turn 11 12 13 a nice little chicane bit uh, going up to turn 14 which will return us to the start finish straight now the question is where's the pit lane gonna be i think a lot of people have been asking the same question because if that's turn one the pit lane should be in this area well also looking at google maps there seems to be a giant piece of dirt and just parking lot like just empty land right in here so i think they're just gonna chuck all the motorhomes and pit lanes in there so i'm assuming the pit lane entry will be right here maybe and then they'll go in and then they will hook around and exit this way i'm assuming i think that's how it's going to be the small little area might be a relatively short pit lane which would make it interesting unless fia try something funny with it from turn 14 you exit it you go into the pit and then you exit turn four imagine cutting this whole section off might be interesting let me know what you guys think give me some of your predictions about the l uh the las vegas uh grand prix circuit because i'm interested to know this is going to be a very interesting circuit also to me it kind of looks like either a train or a dude doing the rock on sign i'm not sure i'm experimenting a bit with this circuit so we've done something interesting with the exits and ex uh, entries got a nice little exit this way leading into this cloverleaf intersection and the entry we're gonna actually go underneath the whole thing and hook around to enter this way it's gonna buy us some time of course because i think traffic's gonna be quite heavy coming into this place and we need to make exit relatively quick so i think this will help us out this will work relatively well i'm gonna build a whole other highway system for goods and services um, after deciding where those uh, airports will be so interesting very interesting indeed so i put down this cargo airport just to test the waters here looks pretty good this looks actually quite unique i like this okay so we got our first goods coming through to the cargo hold got some logs coming through very cool forestry products coming through oh we got a plane coming in we got two planes coming in awesome cargo planes coming through very cool oh it's the russian cargo planes the i don't know what they're called you guys are seeing it on screen right now look at all these stuff come through mega shopping center uh boutiques galore shopping mall giga store all right this is good this is good taking goods and flying off into the sunset bye oh that's a sharp left turn a little update here we finally put in a passenger airport so this is for travelers right now we also have a system going so we got one straight line this is a one-way street leading to the airport and then a one-way street leading out of there so we got a conveyor belt system going so it's more efficient this way to improve traffic to this airport this passenger terminal we have extended this subway line here that goes through the suburban zone of the Paul Ricard circuit we've extended this line to include a stop near the terminals I think people will get out of this metro stop and walk across to the terminal so that'll be good and then it extends a little further into the Imola circuit just the north side of it and people will exit here another station is right next to it so that we can get people onto this line line here that goes through Emil of course and then to the Bahrain Grand Prix also overlap here so it's well connected hopefully this connected system will encourage people to use public transport to get to the airport to and from the airport whoa a bunch of people a bunch of tourists coming out okay so the high traffic through here is gonna pause, cause a problem I knew this was gonna happen so there is a way to solve this. There is a way to solve this. So what we've done here is isolated the whole cargo system. So as soon as they enter here, they're going to take this tunneled route straight to the cargo airport here. 
and then take this highway system back out using this system here using this line because why we only need this one line is because we go onto this route and then they have a choice here of either leaving the city or hooking around and entering the city this way which will help with traffic because this is getting congested a bit as you will see here look at that that is busy so if we have a bunch of traffic going out through this way then this is going to get clogged and it's going to cause a huge backlog of cars with time passing by we are servicing more passengers here our cargo airports are going absolutely crazy uh, these guys are working busy busy hours so what I've done is I've uh, essentially branched out the highway system here so this is all cargoes uh, supplies coming through to airport one and then another hooking off of that main line coming around through a bridge system coming to the airport second airport so airport two and then they all funnel down to the same uh, toll bridge here and that is really helping with our trade our, our trade is going up which is great <laughs> how this works i do not know <laughs> plane is just going straight through some electric wires that's jokes but we've had so much demand for cargo that I've built out another cargo airport on this island. Um, absolute insanity how much demand there is for cargo. So uh, yeah, we really need to build out our cargo uh, shipping enterprise or network, so to say. So a lot of, car a lot of aircrafts coming in and out. Um, let me quickly build a police station in the area because apparently that's what people want and that should secure this area at least all of these um, areas should be covered i think i'm gonna adorn this off camera i think we've done a decent job in getting the las vegas circuit in so this is where i'm gonna end it hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless we finally have another circuit in and we've got an airport system going in as well hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did make sure you smash that like button subscribe using the red button down below hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next more city skylines will be going up on the regular and also let me know in the comment section down below of some more f1 circuits you will be interested in seeing on this map in the f1 paddock metropolis i will happily try to incorporate them thank you guys so much for your support thank you so much for watching take care of yourselves stay safe stay healthy see you guys in the next one